so a question I get asked often is how do I remotely connect into my components in the cabinet? So today I'm going to give an overview of how that's done. Now in our cabinets, all of our components have the ability to be IP programmed, <clears throat> which makes things very easy whenever you need to try to connect them all to a switch, which is right here. I assign each component a particular IP address. So the devices we're trying to connect in this cabinet are gonna be the controller, the MMU, our IP addressable power strip, the radios that we're using out here to connect downstream to the other ones, our battery backup unit that's in this cabinet here, and then we are gonna connect all those to this switch. So that's the hub of this cabinet to connect to all the IP devices that are in here. And then that is going to be connected to our cell modem. That's gonna be the gateway that allows me to remotely connect into this cabinet and communicate with any of these devices that have an IP address. Now this cell modem connects back to our server back in our office. The beauty of that is that this signal is actually about two hours from my office. Now, <clears throat> I can now, that we have this set up, remotely tie into my server and connect and talk to any of these IP addressable devices. Get up-to-date timing. I can check any problems that may arise. If there's a, a complaint of an issue detection-wise, I can you know, log in right away and, and check to see if it is an actual complaint or if it's just a bogus, uh, you know, impatient driver but uh, a lot of this can be figured out before having to take a two-hour trip down to this location so it's a it's really um, it's really nice to have this communication set up okay I'm getting back from the field and getting back in my second office which is my house but uh, now that I have that connectivity set up I can remotely log in to my server and check the devices out at that signal so get onto my laptop here. I'm going to log in to my server. And here I am. You can see that I'm already connected out to the PTZ camera for this intersection. It's nice to put a picture with a complaint. So if it comes in, you can hop right on there. I can see the signals downstream already also. So that's that. You're not gonna connect it to a few more devices out in the street, but I just wanted to give you a sample or a uh, show you what's possible inside a traffic signal cabinet. They come a long way from decades ago. So I just wanted to show what you could potentially do on the signals that you're maintaining. So that's that. If you have content creation ideas or questions or comments, leave them below. Or you can check out my website at streetsmartstraffic.com. Go browse there and see all the other cool stuff that I've got. That's all I got for today. See you next time.